When calculating the number needed to harm, we need to know four values. The number of people who were exposed to the risk factor and developed the condition. The total number of people who were exposed. The number of people who weren't exposed but developed the condition. And the total number of people who weren't exposed. When we have the necessary values, we can calculate the number needed to harm by dividing 1 by the attributable risk, which is the difference in incidence of the condition between those who were exposed, A over A plus B, and those who were not, C over C plus D. Now let's try a quick example. Let's say that in a restaurant with 76 guests, 48 people ate contaminated chicken, of which 36 later on developed nausea and vomiting. Another 7 guests developed the same symptoms, but did not consume any poultry. The incidence of the condition in those who ate contaminated chicken is 36 over 48, which is 75%, whereas the incidence of the condition in those who did not eat any chicken was 7 over 28, which is 25%. By subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who were exposed by the incidence of the condition in those who were not, we find that the attributable risk is 50%. Now to calculate the number needed to harm, we need to find the inverse of that value. So by dividing 1 by 0 0.5, we find that the number needed to harm is 2.